Hi everybody. Uh, today we talk about um, the, the ability to make 360 degrees images with Sketch Studio. That is pretty easy. You will really be uh, you won't believe how how easy it is to to do this. Um, but first of all, I will show you what you can do if you have uh, your 360 degree image ready. I did one today. And uh, the, my big thanks go to John Lakin. Uh, he gave me the hint how to do this. So kudos to you, John Lakin. Thank you very much for, for your support in this. And I will do this uh, very small, quick and dirty tutorial for you. So you can do the same images now with that studio if you use um, IRA as necessary. And uh, the newest version of Dead Studio 4.9. Okay, let's go. What you can do with the images is uh, you rotate with left mouse button, click it, and move it. So you can move it around, up and down. It's really a 360 degree image. What you also can do, if you uh, see it on Facebook, you can double click the image. And you can, with the uh, mouse wheel, you can zoom out, of course, and you can zoom in by scrolling the wheel up or down. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you can also make it full screen, so it looks much better. So this is awesome, it's a really awesome feature, and uh, what you need for this is really one setting in that studio if you make everything if you make a normal iron picture as always you need to change one setting uh, to get this result that's pretty pretty awesome so let's go let's go back from full screen mode close it and that studio here it is what you need first I'll close this what you need uh, first is uh, to put your aspect ratio to 2 to 1 and make a decent amount of pixels in width and height. So this is a 1920 in height and 3840 in width. This will be a higher resolution for more details in your picture. We don't need it, but um, it's better to, to get used to use higher resolutions, I think. So let, let's start. What we need first is a camera. We copy the active perspective viewport and go to the camera. And we need one or two objects to, to fill the scene with something. Yeah, let's go here, move out a little bit. Then uh, we put something around studio here so we have something like this pretty normal as always so we now different from my picture I did today we will have a sphere here duplicate it so the sphere here Duplicated. Okay, so we're here. Duplicate it and move it over here. So let's give the sphere some some colors. So shader presets. I will zero. Make the surface tab. Make them red. Oh. I will even base first, of course. Oh, make the red. Mm. 
and orange. Why not? And let's move the camera mostly into the center of the image of the scene. And turn it down. Somewhere here. Like this. The bottom. Come over here. Let's start with something like this. This would be a normal pirate image. So let's. Give it the uh, highway, sorry, environment map on, so we can see the sky here. This is pretty normal highway picture you have rendered a hundred times. What we need now is to change the camera settings, lens from none to spherical. This changes everything, as you can see. It wraps up the whole image. And uh, now we will render this. Let's go. Let's wait a minute. A minute. It will be uh, very fast, I think. As you can see here. It will take some minutes, but the result is awesome. I guess you can imagine how the result will look like. It's a lot of mirrors here now, so we uh, take a little bit longer, but we can stop it if it's good enough. It's just for the testing purposes and just to show you how to use it. It's, it has, it's not necessary to make it perfect now, so just that you can see how to use it. You make a normal IRA picture. You uh, set the aspect ratio to 2 by 1 and use an amount of width at least 2000 pixels, I would say. Uh, I would suggest. And so 2000 by 1000 or higher. And um, then you set in the camera tab on the lens settings, you set the lens distortion type from none to spherical. That's all. It's really everything you need to, to make a 360 degrees image. So now it took uh, two minutes. We can cancel it. It's, it's a nice image so far. So, and then a 360 test JPEG. Needs to be a JPEG file. That's important too. And we save it. Go to my image folder. Do not six KDB test. Here it is. What we need is to right click the image, go to properties, the details, and now set the camera. Uh, first, in, here's the camera settings. The, the manufacturer is Rico, and the camera model. Is Rico Theta S. Maybe you want to write it down, you want to note it somewhere. It's a Rico Theta S camera, it's a camera model. So, and now that's all. Now we go to Facebook and we load it up somewhere on my timeline. I want to make it uh, just, I can see it, 
but uh, of course you will post them to the Death Studio Artist Group of some, or somewhere and make it public. But just for the testing purpose, only me. This is the only me setting. Now we upload, and it says already 360 degree photo. Now we upload the, the image. And that's all. That's done. When the image is uh, uploaded to, to Facebook, we can post it. Need to, need to wait a second. Post. Here it is. Now. Isn't that awesome? The angle that it is something uh, steep here is because of my camera angle. So how I uh, set the camera. Now you just need to find out how you want to fill your scenes and make the camera uh, uh, vertical <coughs> and horizontal adjustment. And um, that's all. Now you have a funny, pretty angled image. Now I'm very curious uh, what you will come up with if you managed this. Um, um, how to do this. As you have seen, pretty easy. It's really not, not something special. So you can double click it or you can make it full size and rotate it as you like. Funny, huh? Okay. <laughs> what is? Sorry, it's not longer. Not more to know. Bye bye.